Hello, hello, hello. Happy Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday, right? I don't know. Uh, my days are blurring together. Um, uh, so welcome to Conversations of Support. It is our daily time of the day where we come on and we support and encourage one another. And <clears throat> We talk about a different topic each day. Uh, today is all about passion. What is your passion? Is it about work? Is it about a career? Is it uh, your family? Is it a, um, a special cause in your life? Is it um, music, writing a book? What is your passion? How do you find it? What do you do to grow it? And um, how does it make you happy? So today's conversation is just about passion. It's just about um, finding what um, you enjoy doing and what you, does it bring, does it bring you satisfaction? Are you able to, um, do, is it something that helps the community or is it just something for you personally? Um, so today I'm out here. I'm still out on the eastern shore in front of my pretty Christmas trees. Um, it's a little colder today. Definitely a little chillier out here. Um, this is a three season room so there's like no insulation so it's a little chilly. I had to put my sweater on today. Uh, but at least the sun is out uh, for right now. Lots of pollen down here. I don't know where you are. Um, if there's pollen around you, but that's going to play um, uh, havoc on everything uh, uh, that we're dealing with, right? Because now everybody's got the sneezly, uh, coughing, you know, allergy sessions too. So, hey, Cynthia, thanks for jumping on. Um, we're just here talking today. Uh, our conversation of support and encouragement is all about passion. How do we find it? How do we grow it? How do we um, encourage it? Uh, I found a saying that I uh, that says, passion is energy. Feel the power that comes from focusing on what excites you. Um, so for me personally, um, I think I have figured out that most of my passion comes from volunteering. Um, uh, I never get paid for any of the stuff that I really enjoyed doing and that's okay. I'm, I'm blessed that I'm able to still do that kind of stuff. Um, so my passion is, um, uh, helping in the PTA world. I, even though I don't have kids, young kids in the, uh, public school system anymore, I'm still out there advocating for those kids and helping those PTA local units, uh, be successful in their support of their individual schools and everything like that. So I love mentoring. Um, that's a passion of mine. Um, so I love to mentor. Um, I've met some great friends doing that. Um, um, I'm an advocate for um, the, the special needs kids, um, kids who deal with learning disabilities, kids with physical disabilities. Um, Cause if you all know me, um, again, I don't know if I said it earlier, but my name is Laura and I have a son, Andrew James. He goes by AJ, but he has muscular dystrophy. So throughout all his school time, you know, I wanted to be involved and be able to um, help kids like him. And I still want to encourage and help um, kids like him, even though he's an adult now, he's 24, but he does use a wheelchair. So, you know, we're talking about uh, uh, accessibility. And so I'm passionate to find out, you know, what's accessible. Are we including everybody and things like that? So that's my passion. Um, I lost my passion a little bit for singing and music like I had when I was younger. Um, I love listening to music now. Um, but I don't just actually uh, uh, share it uh, as much anymore. Hey, Greg, how are you? And uh, we're talking about passion. You know, is it your career? Is it your workforce? You know, I'm also a very passionate, loyal law enforcement officer wife. Um, 
Uh, even though we're retired right now, I will always still support our law enforcement officers um, and our corrections officers, you know, uh, our first responders and, and people like that. I will always support them. Um, and so it doesn't matter if we're retired or whatever. Our passions can still go beyond that, um, even when we're not paid, you know, um, and, and that's not our paid profession anymore. Um uh, so, you know, what is your passion? What do you find that um, brings you some satisfaction? You know, is it just your family? Is it focusing on your family, your kids, your parents, your siblings? You know, um, uh, is that what you do? Uh, and, and, you know, nobody is right or wrong. All, all of our passions are individual and unique and special and um we get to decide what our passions are and we get to decide what's important to us we do not have to make it fit what other people think our passions should be hey teresa how are you it's cold out here in ocean pines um i'm sitting on the in the sunroom and it's a little chilly out here today uh, but at least the sun is uh out um but the pollen is over everything. There's that yellowy green film all over the car and the deck and everything like that. So if you have allergies and you come out this way, um, you know, that may be a, a, a rough spot too. Hey, Kim, how are you? Thanks for jumping on. Today we're talking about uh, passion. What is your passion? Um, you know, is it a great cause? Like I know um, maybe for you, Kim, um, the MS Foundation is a, a cause that you like to advocate for and support. Um, and that you may be passionate with learning about um, uh, multiple sclerosis and everything like that, you know, because it's, uh, it's, uh, pertains in, uh, to you, you know, whereas muscular dystrophy is more of my concentration because I know somebody directly affected by that too. So, you know, but we all have our passions and we all have, um, different ways that we can support that. Um, nothing is as important as passion. No matter what you want to do with your life, be passionate. Um, so I guess that's what that's saying to us is, you know, don't do something half-heartedly. Um, try it, and if it doesn't connect totally with you, then find something else that brings you that passion, that makes you want to keep doing it, you know, all the time. Um, you know, yes, I get burnt out with my PTA stuff. It gets a little overwhelming sometimes when all the local units are struggling and having problems and asking for advice all at one time. And I feel like I'm working more, but deep down inside that passion is still there to help it help those, um, local units be successful, you know, so I will I still push through with it. So, Hey, Rowie, um, we're just talking about our passions, you know, is it theater? Is it music? Is it, um, uh, your business? What, you know, what kind of stuff is it that keeps you going, that gives you something to focus on? So, hey, Casey, how are you? How are the kids today? Oh, uh, I can't remember the name of that show that I think you're referencing, Kim, but there is something on there that I thought um, I've heard about recently that has a child, uh, which is great because that brings awareness, you know, and lets other people see that life doesn't stop just because you're using a wheelchair, right? So our passion is to help, my passion anyway in that area, is to show that life does not end just because my son stopped walking. You know, he can still get out there and do things right now and we do what we can. And as he gets weaker or, you know, things uh, change, um, maybe we won't travel as much. You know, for us traveling, it's just back and forth between the two houses. But, you know, it's okay. Um, but it doesn't mean that we want to give the impression to people that life just stopped for us, you know. Um, I also think, um, and here's another quote that says, follow your passion. It will lead you to your purpose. What is your purpose in this life? Um, it's taken me a long time, I think, over throughout the years, but the reoccurring theme that has happened in my life 
is this mentoring, this encouragement part. Um, this I think is my ministry. This is I, what I think my purpose is. Um, and it, my purpose isn't meant to be on a big scale. I don't expect my message to reach thousands upon thousands and you know things like that. But my purpose is to help those that I do reach be encouraged um, be supported um, and, and things like that so um, because everything that I have done in my whole life working in a preschool as a director helping those parents those first-time parents letting their kids go to preschool encouraging them reassuring them that it's okay to let your child go to school and they will be fine for two and a half hours without you and things like that um, my PTA work, you know, all uh, my recovery coach work, all of that has been built upon the foundation of encouragement. So I think for me, my purpose is to be able to show encouragement. I, I'm even going to joke and say, you know, even with uh, um, the things that I've tried to do um, that involve, you know, earning money or whatever it is, whether it's Avon, Tupperware, writing a book or whatever, for me, I can still use those items to encourage people to be successful in, you know, cooking at home or whatever like that. But for me, my, my passion has led me to my purpose, which I believe is doing this encouragement thing. Um, I don't know how I will grow it. I don't know what it will look like um five months from now uh but i do know that it's something that i enjoy doing i enjoy mentoring um uh, i've never been good at figuring out how to make money from any of this stuff and maybe that's not my purpose money is not my purpose money is not my end goal of being wealthy and things like that and i don't need to say i i own you know 500 different houses and things like that that's not my particular purpose and goal it might be for somebody else and that works for them um, let's see finding your passion isn't just about careers and money it's about finding your authentic self the one you've buried beneath other people's needs now to me that is a super um, interesting concept my authentic self I have spent a lot of my life pleasing other people making sure everybody else was happy and I put my own uh, satisfaction to the side um, you know and that's happened in the workplace and that's even happened in the PTA place you know sometimes you feel like you give so much to others, but you've kind of hidden yourself, you know, you put making sure everybody else is taken care of that you've neglected yourself. So who is your authentic self? My authentic self, I think, is somebody who likes to talk, who likes to be encouraging, who uh, um, wants to be part of a support system. And so the things that I do try to fulfill that now. Um, so I make sure that I'm trying to balance things. Uh, so, but what is your passion? What do you love to do? What makes you unique? What makes your passion something that maybe others can benefit from? Uh, so, you know, think about that. Take some time when we're all stuck at home, you know, to think about what is your passion, what is your purpose, and who is your authentic self. Um, you know, I think we all sometimes play and have different facades for different situations, you know. Um, uh, but which one is the true one? Which one is the down deep inside person that everybody should know and love and be interested in? So. You know, hey Suzanne, how are you? Um, is your passion teaching? You know, is your passion, um, what brings you that fulfillment? Uh, Suzanne, I know you have posted recently about some of your former students, you know, doing great things. I know that brings you such um, uh, 
um, uh, feelings of pr uh, pride and you're so proud of them. You are, um, because you are passionate about your teaching. You are, and I'm sure this whole new format is a struggle for a lot of teachers and a lot of students right now. Um, but if your passion is strong enough, we're gonna figure out how to make it work, right? We're going to figure out a way to make this new learning situation successful for everybody. Um, uh, not just for you as a teacher, but for your your students as well, you know? So um, is, you know, looking deep inside to find out what, what that passion is for you and how you can share that with the world does it bring um, um does it help does it bring uh um, some kind of a support an act of kindness what is it out there that you would label a passion um is it your uh your, your marriage your um uh, your career what is it that drives you every day what is it that keeps you moving forward? Um, for me, it's, you know, making sure right now that my family is healthy. Um, all of my family, my daughters, my parents, you know, my son, um, making sure that we're all being safe, you know, all of that. Um, and I think sometimes we can facilitate some of that during this particular time. Those who like to care for others are the ones that are making the face masks for people um, with the scraps of fabric that they have at home and things like that. So, you know, these are all things that can benefit and help others, not just ourselves. And it brings us, you know, um, uh, satisfaction and a peace to know that we may have helped a little bit, right? So what is it that drives you each day? Um, so think about that. Uh, um, tomorrow is going to be Thursday. So we're going to make that prayer request Thursday, uh, just like we did this past Thursday. If you have any particular prayer requests that you would like, uh, please m private message me or if you feel comfortable you can put them down in the comments um, if you're watching on the replay put it down in the comments or private message me also um, any prayer requests and I will be um, uh, doing uh, that tomorrow afternoon um, this has become a, a little thing that I think uh, uh, that I want to incorporate into this uh, once a week that if there's special needs that uh, anyone has that they they would like prayed about and for, I will do that uh, tomorrow during our, our chat, um, our time of conversation of support. Um, if there's other topics that you would like to talk about, please let me know. Um, put them in the comments, send me a message. You all know how to find me. You all know how to, um, uh, if you if you are personal friends, you do know how to reach out to me in other ways. Um, but uh, you know I enjoy the interaction. Uh, so I want to find topics that bring us all together, keep us supported, keep us encouraged. Um, you know, so uh, um, for those of us in Maryland, I hear Governor Hogan's going to have a press conference this afternoon at 2.30, so I'm planning on listening to that. Um, we may have to add whatever he says to that prayer request for tomorrow. So uh, let's stay positive. Let's find that passion in our lives. Even when we're stuck at home, we can still um, work on our passions. We can still... Um, um, uh, uh, try to facilitate and make them grow. <laughs> well, thank you, Kim. I appreciate it. I, I'm glad you're able to join me live when you can. And I'm glad that you are able to watch them, uh, you know, uh, uh, on a replay whenever uh, the time fits you, you know. So that's the, that's my whole purpose is to be able to let us do this um, together uh, live sometimes and then be able to re-watch them and uh, uh, figure out you know uh, how to keep each other encouraged and everything so hey Christiana how are you um, I uh, I enjoy doing this and and like I've said before if nothing else 
this is therapeutic for me this this is my passion this is my purpose uh, so if I can help benefit anybody um, while I'm also benefiting myself in in this encouragement um, then then it's a win-win right uh, so let me be able to encourage you and I know you will encourage me um, as I need it so but uh, think about your passion today. What is your purpose and your passion? Who is your authentic self? You know, and if you need help with that, let me know. We can figure it out together. Um, if there's some topic that um, you're really struggling with, um, let me know. We'll make it one of our topics uh, for uh, one of our days. So, okay. So, um, hey, Christina, thank you so much for delivering that fudge uh, to my daughter, Grace, on Easter Sunday. I didn't expect you to do it on Easter. I just said close to Easter so that she wouldn't eat it all um, before Easter. So, uh, but she really enjoys it. And uh, um, so I, I really appreciate that. Uh, I may have to get some more from you for her, you know, if we keep going long distance like this. So uh, Christina's got a, a wonderful home-based business of, of making fudge, different, so many different flavors and everything that um, I love to support local. I love to, uh, and she, the reason I'm, I'm, um, uh, sharing her information is simply because my daughter Grace is vegan and she makes vegan fudge. She makes a vegan chocolate one and a vegan peanut butter one. Uh, so uh, Gracie truly appreciates that. Um, uh, so I just wanted to let you know that and to keep encouraging you to keep making the fudge and everything. So, uh, look her up, Christina, if you want to put your link in the comments for, uh, your business, that's fine. Brad, if you wanted to put your link in the comments, that's fine too. Anybody else, if you have a link, um, for your passion, for your business, whatever, feel free to post it. That way we can all encourage each other and we can all support one another. Um, uh, you know, so that's what, that's what we're here to do. So um, every day I love being able to have a conversation um, of support and encouragement with each one of you. So feel free to post your business stuff, your whatever that passion is, whether it's your book, your music, um, a business, whatever, and it doesn't matter where it's located, you know, the locals will figure out where it is, um, or if you have online options, that's great too during this time. So, Anyway, that's all I've got for you for today. So um, stay focused, stay passionate, uh, stay healthy, uh, stay home, and um, uh, find that authentic self in you. And I will see you all tomorrow afternoon for a prayer request Thursday. So let me know if you have a specific prayer request. Um, uh, you can either post it or send it to me and otherwise I will see you all tomorrow and have a wonderful blessed day. I believe in you. Don't forget to smile even if you're wearing a face mask. Make those little laugh lines show up. Okay? Love you all. I will see you tomorrow. So uh, have a wonderful day. Bye Kim.